So we're back in Dreamweaver and we've created our container div or our div with the ID called container. We've separated inside of our code view. Notice it's there at the top. It's hard to see because there's no text inside of it. So it's also hard to select. So what I want you to do is to make sure that in your code view, if you're following along in Dreamweaver, you can even tab that in if you prefer. I want you to have your cursor and make sure that it's inside of the div called container. Remember we also added a little bit of a code at the end here so that um, our uh, comment will tell us where that container div ends. So now that we're right here we're going to insert another div and this particular div tag we're going to give another ID to and we're going to call it header. And the header will define a CSS rule for as well. So here we are with our header div. It's going to be defined in style.css. That's excellent. Come in here and say OK. And what I want to do is we don't have to worry about positioning or anything like that with regards to absolute, fixed, or relative, or anything like that. But we will define its width, and the width is going to be 960, exactly the same width as the container itself. Now, I didn't even have to do that, uh, because as a block level element, it would have stretched out for the actual width of the container itself, and that's fine. But while we're here, there's really no reason why you can't introduce this particular width. Now normally I don't really give a height value. However, I will in fact give a height value this time just so that we can actually expand what's inside there and I can give you guys the opportunity to see um, how big we can make the header area be however we want it to be. So, you know, I could come in here and I could say just give me like a hundred. hundred pixels. You can change that based on your design or whatever else you want to be doing. And at the same time, we're also going to go into the background area here, and I'm just going to give it, you know, simple background color. You don't have to be um, very fancy at this point. We'll just choose a very simple color and proceed from that point. So what you can see here is um, some very basic information. I haven't really defined anything else, so I'm just going to click OK don't really need to define anything else at this point because the header is doing some very simple stuff for us. So we're just going to click OK. Now what you'll see is we have content for ID header goes here and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We can have that information in there as we go along. It's perfectly um, great to do so. But do notice that we have our content and what I'm going to do is to just go into my code view and just clean things up a little bit more so we can see what things look like. Remember, you could put as much spacing as you want in here. It's not really a problem. Everything will be a little easier to sort of look at if you know what's going on inside of it. So I'll also at this point um, just follow my own advice. And at the end of there, I will say end of header. All right, so with that information in place, we can hit the refresh, we can go to Safari and preview this. And again, we'll have to save the index page and notice the CSS is not saved, so we'll save that as well. And now we can see our header inside of this window. And notice because the header is inside of the container, the container is, as we saw, always centering that information. So that's great. Now that we've got the header in place, all we need to do is to define the three columns that are going to go underneath the header. And we'll do that in just a second.